Hello everyone, uh, my name is Aiden Tao. First things first, I am very honored to be here today with all of you guys. Uh, just doing the opening ceremony, I had a lot of people come up to me, a lot of fans, a lot of old faces that I haven't seen. First of all, I want to thank Merced, uh, Home New Year for having me here. And second of all, thank you to all the Hmong veterans and leaders that have sacrificed for our country to provide for our young generations the opportunity to fulfill the American dream. It is also an honor to see our legendary General Bang Pao's son, Chong Bang, here along with many other Hmong leaders. I had the privilege to accompany him at the opening of the Hmong J4 event in Minnesota this past summer, and I want to wish Chong Bang many blessings and good health for many more years to come. It is also an honor to see many dignitaries such as the Merced Mayor, Chief Police of Merced, and County Board of Supervisors, and many local and national community leaders here today. My name is Aiden Tao, and I am the first Hmong professional motorcycle racer in the world. I have taken many championships at the state level, the national level, and recently took an international championship title in Thailand, representing us Hmong and the United States. I would not have been able to do this without my family, friends, and especially my Hmong community. Thank you for giving me the support and the strength and encouragement to keep going. I am very proud to say that I am Hmong and I will never forget where I came from. My goal is to travel the globe for my racing events and to also give back to my community. And I will do as much as I can to contribute to the overall health and well-being of our Hmong family. In my travels at home here in the States abroad, people have asked me, what are you? I tell them, I am Hmong. And to most people, the first thought is Mongolian, but I tell them no. I tell them and I take my time and I explain to them who I am. I have faced many obstacles and setbacks because of the differences in my colors and ethnic backgrounds. But thank you to our elders and community leaders, our politicians, law enforcement officials for the work they do to keep us at peace. Together, we can all start the movement of spreading kindness to all groups of people by encouraging and cheering them on through difficult times. Growing up, I was taught the importance of our twin consequences, and it is very important to our humankind. When we gather together, we can create the energy to help bridge our communities together, to overcome prejudice and restore love and peace. As we gather here today to celebrate the Hmong New Year, we are highlighting the uniqueness of our culture. The Hmong New Year serves a good opportunity to enhance the mutual understanding among our people and set a great example of our cultural diversity. I am very delighted to see so many of you to share our diverse cultures and languages. Some of us here are from different parts of the world and even speak different languages, but I am very amazed to see many business vendors here that are from other ethnic groups and cultural backgrounds. This is the diversity at its best, and I hope that we only grow from here. Let's start with ourselves by awakening our own consciousness, to connect and share with the world the greatness of our diversity, to spread love and safety and our culture at peace and inner happiness. I hope to inspire the younger people to keep reaching for their dreams and to never give up because I have learned when one door opens, another one closes. In 2023, I'll be racing in Spain and throughout Europe. I'll also be attending 
the 32nd edition of the Southeast Asian Olympic Games to be hosted this year in Cambodia. To light the Olympic torch, which symbolizes love, happiness, prosperity to all the athletes in Southeast Asia nations in May of 2023. As the new year is approaching, may each and every one of us have the strength to lead, have the heart to love, have the heart to give, and to live in good health. Thank you everyone, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, and thank you guys all for having me here. Strength and the goodness in us, and we all look forward to loving each other and moving forward and really making 2023 a great positive year. So again, thank you all for being here. Looking really like, excited to kick it off. Looking forward to a great event and a great party. So uh, again, thank you everybody. Thank you, Mayor. Please give a round of applause for our mayor and uh, your assembly person for my first Mom New Year here in Merced County. I am honored to be here this morning because as a daughter of immigrant uh, parents that came to this country just like you came, um, with that belief that you can't, your family could achieve the American dream. I know that we share so much in common. Um, and so I'm proud to stand here today to say Happy Mom New Year. Um, and as we work improving our communities here in the Central Valley. So you have my commitment of doing that. So I want to just celebrate you. Uh, you are a reflection of the diversity of our Central Valley, of our great state, of our country. And it is what makes our country uh, the best country on earth to celebrate the diversity that exists here and you guys are part of that. So I just want to thank you for the honor to be here uh, this morning to celebrate Mom New Year with you. Uh, I also want to present on behalf of Senator Ana Caballero, who unfortunately couldn't make it this morning. Um, on behalf of the State Senate, we wanted to present to the Merced Lao family community, uh, Inc. Um, Um, like I said, Merced County is a very diverse culture, and there's nothing more important that, than that. And having this event here today and this weekend is something that's incredibly important to what we're doing. So thank you very much for, for doing this. Happy New Year. Enjoy uh, the festivities. And my... Um, my colleague, Mayor Serrano, said, let's look forward to how we can make it better in 2023. So thank you. competition. <laughs> Don't be hard. 